Okay, hello everyone. This is N5BSB here today with a video for the real portable in-fed half-wave antenna. And we're going to go over a few of the features and things about it. First of all, uh, I want to dispel some myths. Um, some people may say this is nothing any different than anybody else. It's got a, a piece of wire wrapped around a reel. Uh, it is different. Uh, it is unique. It is very versatile. It's portable and it's lightweight and it's compact. Uh, this thing will basically fit in the palm of your hand. You can throw it in a backpack, string it up, take it down, reel it in, and you're done. Easy setup, and it's uh, 40 to 6 meter in-fed half wave uh, with a 49 to 1 ballon. And um, uh, let's talk about... Uh, the power, the power rating on it is uh, 100 watts sideband, 30 watts digital. And I know myself, I have tested it, and uh, 30 watts, it never gets, uh, never gets hot. So that's, that's what we're recommending. Uh, there is a, a, a piece of stainless steel 304 wire here on the back that you can uh, clip a carabiner on it to hang it or support it in some way. It will come with one uh, S beaner up here on the end. Uh, this one right here is a demo. It may or may not come with one of these style clamps. It might just have a regular wire uh, crimp type on the end. Uh, but... Um, so let's talk about what makes this unique. Um, the idea is not new, but what does make it unique is the fact that this transformer, this toroid inside where the magic schmoo happens is actually actively connected to the wire and that's a little more a little more challenging than what most people might think because you have you have a reel here that is turning and to have an active connection with the actual transformer uh, that is that is unique and that allows for this antenna to be fine-tuned and it also allows for it to be used on six meters with no tuner. So the way we pre-tune these is when you pull the wire all the way out to where it stops, it is tuned for 20 meters low part of the band. CWFT8 portion is where it's tuned for. Now it will, it, the, it will uh, be good through the entire 20 meter band. On 40 meters, it's gonna be a little bit long. It will need to be shortened up just a little bit. However, in my experiences, most of the time, even on like switching over to FT8 on 40 meters, it's still in the 1.4 uh, SWR range, maybe 1.5, 1.4. And here's where the neat part comes in if you um, want to work exclusively and you want to get your match better on 40 meters, you can simply crank this turn about, uh, you know, three turns or so. Uh, and you can sit there on a nano VNA or something and you can watch the SWR uh, just drop right down there in the, in the area that you want. Uh, same thing on 10 meters. If you want to work more 10 meters, uh, the SWR is already good on 10 meters. But if you wanted to fine tune it to uh, a portion, you could do that as well. 
as well as six meters. We're not limited to like most of your in-fit halfway, and I, and I own a lot of them. Uh, I'm not knocking anybody's uh, product. I own my antennas. I own a lot of different Nelson, um, a lot of different antennas that, that I own, and I like them all. This has its place in the market. And a lot of the antennas come on kite winders, you know, and you wind them up around a figure eight or something around a piece of plastic. And um, while they're not uh, difficult to wind up, they do take a little more time, and the wires do sometimes have a little bit of memory to them, depending on the type of wire it's made out of. Uh, with this one here, the way the wire is wound up on an oval spool, and this being a memory-free silicone wire, the wire doesn't uh, create any kind of memory, so to speak. So it uh, ha has a good advantage there. And uh, we are using 20 gauge. Um, it's a, a high strand 10 copper wire. And it's a really good, really good wire. Um, all stainless steel hardware. And uh, so it's a, it's just a great little antenna. Um, you know, you can bring this out in the field and you can uh, hook this in on something grab the other end open this thing up walk out with it clip it on a line hoist it up in a tree you're done when you get finished uh using it simply walk out there let it down unconnect it come over here to this end reel it up and you're done throw it in your backpack you're ready to go so that's uh pretty much you know what i have to say about the actual antenna itself and I will uh, try to maybe add some graphs, uh, maybe show some actual tuning of it uh, in a later video. But I wanted to get this video out just to kind of give people an idea of what you'll be getting. And uh, I'm waiting actually on a new Nano VNA. Mine broke. I dropped it out here the other day. And so I'm actually waiting on another one to come in that I can actually hook to my computer and get some better graphs and stuff. But uh, uh, this thing with the ability, you know, to turn and fine tune, your possibilities are, you know, you, you have a lot more flexibility with this than you do just a standard uh, in-fed half wave that the antenna wire is cut to one place. Um, let's, let's talk just a little bit about what an in-fed half wave is. It's a half wave on the, on the lowest frequency uh, that you intend to work on. This would be 40 meters or 7 megahertz. Most in-fed half waves, the principle behind it is the other bands that you try to operate on that are harmonics, first, second, and third harmonics of the base frequency. And while most of the time Depending on where you tune it to, you can get most of the ham bands in on those second, first, second, and third harmonics. However, sometimes they don't always fall right in line where, they, where you want them to. Maybe somebody wants to talk voice. Maybe somebody wants to talk, uh, 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 do digital, CW. So sometimes they may not always fall within the uh, parameters of the band that you're looking for. With this, you have the ability to actually tune that to tailor it to your needs. So that's one of the big, big things about uh, this antenna. There's been a lot of uh, testing, a lot of trial and error to get to where we are currently. And um, so anyway, um, if you get one of these, we, uh, we look for your feedback and we hope everybody uh, likes them and enjoys it. Thank you very much. This is N5BSB.